What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm 7beats and in this video I'm going to show you how to mix and master your Afro beats. So let's get started. So first I'm going to show you a preview of this beat. This beat is not mixed and not mastered. And I've created this in one of my most recent tutorials. I'll put a link down in the description. I hope you enjoy this beat. As you can hear, not all the elements are really well balanced or mixed. Some elements need an EQ. So I hope you enjoyed the beat and right now I'm going to show you how to mix the drums, how to mix your melodies and synths and then just blend everything together. In this tutorial I'm using some third party plugins but you can also do the same with the stock fruity plugins. But I will also release the tutorial later where I master this beat using stock plugins from Apple Studio. So stay tuned for that. So first we're going to balance all the elements. So right now I've disabled all my melodies and just the drums are playing. As you can see, I've picked this kick right here and I've quickly reduced all the high frequencies. I'm going to turn this one up. And we're going to EQ this one more precise. So I can hear that boxy sound and a high frequency, which I don't like. So I'm going to use the Pro Q3, but you can also use the EQ2 from Fruity. And I'm going to use a high cut filter. So I'm going to make an adjustment to the volume. So right now it goes really well together with the other elements and it doesn't contain that annoying frequency. And as you can see I've already made an adjustment to the volume of the other drums. And as you can see nothing is peaking above the kick. So the kick has to be the loudest element of the drums. So I think this already sounds really good. And right now we're going to add some panning to the elements. So we're going to pan some elements 6% to the left and right or 12% to the left and right. And this is a really simple trick and will really improve your mix in the end. So we're going to pan the main snare to the right, about 12%. There's a percussion to the left. And as you can see it already pops out. So we're going to pan this one more to the left, around 20%. This one is already panned to the right. Also pan this to the right. And we have to shake a loop right here because we've panned the snares to the right. We're going to pan this one to the left. And if you are wearing headphones, you can really hear the difference. We're going to pan this one to the right, 25%, 25% to the left. I think sounds really awesome. And as you can hear, I've added a drum roll right here. So we're gonna loop this one. It's just a really simple one. And I created this bus right here, just with this Valhalla reverb. And I've added this during the tutorial where I made this beat. And how can you do this? Just select an element like this. And normally it would be linked to the master channel. Just deselect this one 
a link to this bus right here. And right now, all the elements from your role are linked to one bus channel, including one reverb. And we could also EQ this one a little bit, so I want to cut out some more of the low frequencies and it will improve the mix. So I'm gonna use a low cut filter around 50 Hertz. Just a tiny detail. So right now we're gonna play the percussion loop again. We're gonna have a look at the clip. So I've already played around the velocity right here. So maybe turn it down some more. Like this. So right now we've bent the elements. You don't really need to use any cue, but if you're using some elements which contain a lot of low frequencies, make sure to reduce it and keep your mix clean. That's the way I like it. So as you can see, I've not used any cue on the drums. So scrolling through my drums, but exceptionally for this one right here. So as you can see, this one contains a lot of annoying mid frequencies and I've just reduce them or just cut them out like this. So right now we're going to add another element, the chords. And I've used this one right here. And when creating this one, I've already added this EQ, just a random preset. And I thought it sounded really nice. So I'm just gonna keep it this way. And I've added this EQ. And this is just to cut out some of the high frequencies right here. This bell right here. And I didn't like that, so I immediately cut that out. Or maybe just turn up the volume a little bit. So that's it. All right, now we're gonna add another element. This is the guitar. And as you can see, I've already added some elements right here. I've cut out all of the low frequencies. And I think this already sounds really cool. Because those two elements are in the same frequency spectrum, we're going to use some panning. So we're going to do the same technique which we've applied to the drums. So we're going to pan this one to the left and the other one to the right. So this one to the right, 12%. I'm going to pan this one 20% to the left. Fire. So right now we're gonna add the bass line. And as you can hear, this one contains a lot of low frequencies and mid frequencies. So I'm going to add an EQ to make it glue together. So I'm going to use this one right here. As you can see, this element contains a lot of frequencies around 90 Hertz, so I'm going to reduce this one. I'm going to add some more low frequencies. So I'm going to add another bell right here. Add some more low frequencies, like this. And maybe cut out some of the high frequencies. We're going to use a high cut right here. Perfect. And right now we're going to use a really simple technique which is called side chaining. So select your kick right here, go to your bass sound, right mouse button, and select side chain to this track. So right now the kick is side chained to your bass. So right now select your bass and we're gonna add a fruity limiter. So right now I've opened up a fruity limiter and select compression right here. I'm gonna select sidechain one. So for a sidechain number, and we're gonna add some threshold, knee, and a ratio about this one. So one, two. We're gonna reduce the release a little bit. I will now play around with the sidechain. So 
So right now the bass sound is pumped in when a kick is playing. So this really improves the mix. So that's basically it when it comes to the bass sound. And right here some more elements are coming in. So this is the new guitar melody. So nothing we have to do about that one. And right now another guitar is coming in. So I've already used an EQ in this one just to remove an annoying frequency and I've added this reverb when creating this one. And right now we're gonna level this one and pan this one. So right now we're gonna level and pan this element. So we have the guitar playing on the right, we have the chords playing 20% to the left. So we're gonna pan this element just a little bit to the left. So around 10%. So as you can see, all the elements blend really well together. Maybe reduce some of the high frequencies from the guitar right here. Around 2 dB. So that's basically it. For a tutorial, keep in mind, I was already doing a little bit of mixing when creating this beat. So I'm not mixing this beat from scratch, but I'm just showing you how you can mix your beat. So when mixing a beat, really keep in mind, just keep it simple, level the elements. Don't use a lot of effects or techniques or compression, whatever. Just keep it really simple. And it's the simplest way to create a really clear mix. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And see you guys in one of my next tutorials.